Yo, buenos dias. What up, you guys? John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to share with you my unsolicited opinion on the Harley Davidson Road Glide CVO ST and how ridiculous I think it is. All right, let's jump into it. Starting out with the styling. When I first saw this bike, truth be told, I thought it reminded me of the Yamaha Star Adventure, which Yamaha discontinued that bike, stopped making it back in 2020. But is it just me or if you look at these two side by side, do they not have a little bit of similarity? Obviously not identical. I do think it's funny how a bunch of people bashed on Indian when they first came out for the look of their fairing and the style. To me, it looks like Harley is more going in the direction that Indian went with their Challenger in terms of this fairing and everything. But overall, I don't dislike the look of the bike. I think it is pretty cool looking. It's unique, it's new, it's updated. So really no complaints as far as that go. I will say that the exposed carbon fiber that you have on the tank and at the exhaust tips, to me, looks a little bit off, almost like kind of a granite quartz style to it. Overall, like I said, pretty rad looking bike. I could never design anything near as cool as that. So kudos and shout out to people who have that artistic ability. Let's talk about the specs. Pretty impressive specs, 121 cubic inch V-twin. Massive engine, I think it boasts like 127 horsepower, 145 foot pounds of torque, which you may hear those numbers and think like, dude, that's crazy, bro. And I'm sure that is crazy. I'm sure it's a ton of fun to ride. I'm sure it'll rip your arms out of your socket. But if you pause for a second and look at some of the other options, let's look at the Indian Challenger and then one other bike that I wanna to compare it to. So the Indian Challenger produces 128 foot-pounds of torque, so not quite the 145, but still 128 foot-pounds of torque and 122 horsepower. So pretty dang close in terms of the numbers. And then one other bike that I wanted to compare it to is the Honda Gold. <laughs> Now I know you're thinking like, bro, two totally different markets, dog. I understand the Goldwing's not a V-twin and I understand people buying the Goldwing and people buying the Harley, like two different people, right? But let's look at it anyway, just for the sake of uh, checking it out. So the Honda Goldwing produces, at least according to one website, 125 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque. So when you compare it to those other bikes, yes, it's crazy, but this is Harley's top of the line, like high-end model and it's really not that much more gnarly than some of the other bikes out there. And that'll be a perfect segue into the price because especially when you look at how much you're paying for the Harley, I think it comes in MSRP at just shy of $43,000. The Honda Goldwing, you can still get for under 30,000 as well as that Indian Challenger, you can get for under 30,000, both of which are gonna give you really close numbers as far as the performance that we're looking at. So for about $15,000 less, you're still getting just about the same performance. I would put good money on the Goldwing to say that bike outperforms and outhandles the Harley Davidson. In fact, I bet if they put the Goldwing out there, but if they put the Honda Goldwing out there on the Bagger Racing League, I think the Goldwing would blow those other bikes out of the water. I've ridden the Honda Goldwing F6B and, and I've owned the Honda Valkyrie and the handling and performance combination, just how well those maneuver, night and day difference compared to any Harley or Indian that I've ever ridden. So let me know what you guys think regarding the Goldwing versus the Challenger or Road Glide. So I think the prices are just outrageous these days, 43,000 bucks for a you know Road Glide CVO ST. I understand the CVO has always been the more expensive model, but at the end of the day, it doesn't impact me one way or the other. I do think it's a cool option for people out there. And there is that whole performance bagger scene where people are dropping a ton of money into taking a stock road glide and making it more performance oriented and i'm sure a lot of those dudes are probably dropping close to that 40k mark if not more into their baggers in order to get that much performance and handling out of them so to be able to just go out there and off the showroom floor pick up a stock bike that has all of that i'm sure some people will be stoked on it i think most of the dudes would buy the 42k bike and then drop another 10 or 15k into it anyway just to make it their own just because that's kind of you know a lot of people like to build it what do they say built not bought but yeah it doesn't affect me one way or the other that harley's new motorcycle is so expensive it's obviously not targeting me i'm never going to go out there and buy it brand new but for those who can afford it or think they can afford it and want to do it no harm no foul like I said, I don't lose any sleep over it at night. I'm sure I would have fun ripping around on it, uh, no doubt. 
So those are my thoughts on the new Harley Road Glide CVO ST. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know what you think, Honda Goldwing or Harley Road Glide CVO ST. I don't care which one you think is cooler, but which one do you think would win out there on the racetrack? Drop a comment below, let me know. Like, subscribe if you dig it, and we'll catch you next time. Adios, hasta luego. Nos vemos.